Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 84 rated SBC striker Kiate um, Balde Dial. Now this guy's name is really hard to say, so I'm just going to call him Baldi, just because it's so much easier to say than the whole of his name. So looking at his card now, he's got high low work rates, he's right footed, he's got 4 star weak foot and a 4 star um, skill moves. He has really good pace, really good shooting, um, really good dribbling and decent physical. Cool. you know that 79 strength isn't too bad um, for a striker on FIFA 18 and also you know those pace stats they are absolutely insane with that 94 acceleration and 93 sprint speed so guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so starting off the highlights now, we're going to start with his pros. Now the first pro I could find on this card was his dribbling. Now as you can see, this guy's dribbling is very, very good. We get a really nice fire, um, first goal there, do some nice off-ball dribbling and then finish it off nicely on that four-star weak foot. Then the next pro after that I could find was his pace. Now this guy is very, very fast. Um, as you already mentioned earlier, he has really good acceleration and really good sprint speed. So you know, you put those two things together and you have a very, very fast player. And that's what Balde Diao is. And then after that the next pro I could find this card was his height so now this guy's six foot and in my opinion having like a big tall striker who's very fast is very very effective and also his strength is pretty decent as I've already mentioned as well he has 79 physical so he's not exactly the weakest um, but he is um, decently strong so we can occasionally hold off you know those shoulder to shoulder battles um, and I actually scored some really really nice goals in this video as you'll see um, but there was one con I could find with this card and that was he was very inc inconsist um, sorry, inconsistent sorry um, inconsistent with his you know the way he played um in one match he would score like you know two or three goals and he would go like one or two matches without scoring and then he would play one match where again he scores you know two or three goals so it's very very inconsistent or it may just be you know my opponents were um much higher level like in different matches um so anyway moving into the next goal here with kite um at balde yeah we do a nice spin there run through on goal to do a ball roll do some nice skill moves there, go for the finesse shot, and it goes nicely into the top corner. So moving now into the final goal, and this is a really, really good goal. Um, we do some really nice skill moves here. Um, do a nice ball roll to your body faint, flick up for the rainbow flick, and then look at that, a really, really nice finish. So guys, this has been the highlights. Now let's get into the overview. So now moving on to the overview for SBC Balde Diao. Um, so for a value of coins, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. And now the reason is just because all that you need to do to get this card is submit two of these foot swap players. And I didn't actually really like try and get any of them. I just managed to um, get the foot swap players from just playing the game in general. I wasn't really trying to aim to get anyone. Um, so I managed to get two of them. I submitted them for this Balde Diao card. So basically it's so, so easy to get him. Um, enjoyment wise, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. It was a pretty enjoyable card to use, you know, because of the really um, nice dribbling and high pace. Competitive competitiveness wise, I'm only going to give him a 7 out of 10. Um, the main reason is just because he is very inconsistent. And, you know, when you're playing foot champions, you can't really have an inconsistent play because, you know, you want your players to be on the um, at top form, you know, game in, game out. Skilling wise, again, he was pretty decent, and I'm going to give him a 7.5. And then overall, I think the best way to describe this card is good, but not amazing. So, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.